Young pioneer Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is a member of Congress, but would make a fantastic Bolshevik if she decides to change careers. It's not enough she's telling us to oppose the president's immigration policies. You also need to destroy anyone who's even remotely connected to securing the border. E-commerce company Wayfair is providing beds for a new immigrant holding facility in Texas. Today, some employees walked out in protest of that. Casio cortez endorsed their efforts. She tweeted this, quote, this is what solidarity looks like. Maybe next she'll boycott the snack foods, the ice f stocks and vending machines. Elizabeth Warren, meanwhile, is entering tonight's debate with a fresh proposal to completely decriminalize illegal, illegal border crossings, which is, of course, completely insane. Sneaking into America illegally would no longer be illegal. What would happen to the country if we did that? Melissa Francis, co-host Outnumbered, as well as After the Bell on Fox Business. We're always grateful to have her on the show. Melissa, thanks for coming on. Um, so first to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. What do you make of this? She's saying that anybody who does business with ICE, in effect, should be punished. I, I mean, it's it's idiotic. The CEO, uh, Wayfair is a public company, first of all. They're losing money. Their CEO doesn't get to make decisions like that. He has a legal fiduciary responsibility to do best with the shareholder's money. It's not his money. He can't make decisions based on his own politics or his own definition of morality. He has to try to make money for his shareholders. It's against the law for him to do what she wants him to do, to turn down business, especially given the fact that the company's losing money. Now, let's talk about the Elizabeth Warren and this other proposal that we're going to hear more about tonight at those debates, if you tune in, where they're saying if you cross the border, it shouldn't be illegal. Guess what? If somebody's coming here to seek asylum, it's because the rule of law in their home country has broken down to the point where they no longer feel safe. They are coming to this country because the rule of law works and keeps them safe. So how is breaking the law helping those people who are coming here for laws and security? These are both really stupid ideas. How does taking away furniture help children? How does taking away laws help children? It doesn't. You know what? Our lawmakers have massively failed us. This is a huge problem that is enormous because it has festered for so long. There is no easy way to solve it. It's going to take a whole bunch of solutions. And here's the thing, Tucker. I mean, what if every time we interviewed a lawmaker, what if you and I took this pledge and everybody else and Shep and Sean and Rachel and Anderson, what if we all said that every time you interview a lawmaker, you say, name one thing you've opposed before that you're willing to give and put on the table as a gesture to get the ball rolling. You can't name what you want in return because you know what? Everyone's going to have to work together to come to a solution. That picture right. of the dead child is really heartbreaking. But everybody looks at it and they see someone different to blame. We can all look at it and see that it's total failure on the part of America. So look at that picture and ask lawmakers, what is it that you're willing to put on the table with nothing in return? You won't look weak, you'll look strong. What do you think? Don't you think that would work? It might. I mean, I, I personally think that the people in charge of the country need to first care about the country. I'm in a country now, Japan, whose leaders, whatever their flaws, care about the country of Japan. There's no immigration to Japan because they don't think it's good for the country. There's also no litter here and no crime. So every priority... Uh, on both sides of the divide here politically, it, it, the basic priorities are the same, which is take care of the country. I, I don't see almost anybody in Congress who's putting America, no. literally America's interest no, I don't, at all. No, I don't think so either. Nobody. I agree with you, but I think this would expose them because I think both sides have yeah. let this problem fester and it's become a great political thing for them. It's become a way to hit the other side. I mean, when you have somebody proposing that anybody who comes into this country legally, illegally, suddenly it's illegal, that doesn't make any sense. So they're obviously not trying to do anything no. real. They're trying to make a political point. So let's challenge them to actually fix the problem or shut up and get out of the way. Amen. Melissa Francis, thanks very much for that.